what's going on people so i've been i had something on my mind that i wanted to talk about that i find uh very distressing and i just wanted to to get my opinion on it because i'm very passionate about this subject that that's for one and for two it's just i'm sitting here thinking about how i wanted to talk about it but instead i just say i'm just gonna go for it and just throw my opinion out there it should be in the title already but i want young men like me in case y'all don't know i'm 23 24 25 26 18 19 20 to wake up because i find it very disheartening that a lot of men my age are just going through such hard times and they're just they're, they feel so alone and lost and i can understand because i was just like that i was like that a few years ago um, i'm not saying that i'm at the the top of my ladder or anything but i was at a point where i just just felt like i had nowhere to go and unfortunately there's a lot of people in that situation who never get to a position in which they feel like they have direction because right now i feel like my life is filled with direction i feel like i am completely more motivated than i've ever been and i'm more uh, goal oriented than i've ever been and the reason why i started thinking about this is because i have a brother and uh he was going through going through some issues and uh he was saying that man i just i want to do something i don't know what i want to do i don't know where i need to go i think he's he's 19 and he's i don't know where I, where i need to go i don't know what to do and then I, here i come you know i'm not i'm not some wise old man but i feel like i've learned a bit i've learned something and i wanted to try to help guide him on his path but the thing is a lot of men are going through stuff like that and so i don't know who this would reach but I just want everyone to wake up. I don't think you're doing anything wrong, but I feel that if we just took the initiative to actually figure out what we want to do instead of just, you know, being upset about it and not really moving forward, then I feel like men will be in a much better position. I understand that there's a lot of, there's a lot of neglect towards young men's mental health. And I'm not really too knowledgeable on mental health, honestly. But I do understand that it comes to a point where you feel just alone and depressed and you don't know, really know where to go. So if anyone hears this, the, the best way that I found to navigate through depression, as in you don't know where to go, is really to just try some things. I know it's very vague, but just try some things. I understood that from, for me, I'm gonna use a little anecdote, okay? For me, I was at a point in which I was depressed and I was alone and I was alone and I was down. <laughs> and I would look on Facebook and I would see that people around me that I went to high school with were going to college and they were getting married and they were doing all this stuff. And I'm sitting here like I'm not doing anything, right? I have I don't know what I want to do. And as a young man, there's nothing worse than that. There's really, as a man in general, I think not, not just a young man, but as a man in general, there's nothing worse than feeling like you don't know where to go because our natural imperative our biological imperative is to work towards something and become better and I feel that men just don't understand that unfortunately because there are there are a lot of boys having kids and by boys I mean mentally boys and then they skip out on the kids and the kids grow up with no dad so then they don't know how to become a man either. Then they have no inspiration, they have no one to go to, they have no one to ask questions, and then they're just lost, and they're stuck in their room playing games all day, and they don't talk to anybody, they're shut off from the world, and they're just existing. They're not living, they're existing. And there's a difference, there's a distinct difference. And I just wanted to just maybe give some kind of advice to some who may need it. I would say, number one, you have to get out of your comfort zone. That's for one. Get out of your comfort zone. Whatever you're doing every day, obviously ain't working for you. So do something else. And it, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be something as simple as um, just saying hi to someone at the grocery store. You, you have no idea how much uh, of a difference that could make in your life or someone else's life. And I noticed that I became a little bit more confident the more I talked to people who I didn't know. It's weird to explain, but I would just not. I would just talk to people, and that slowly incrementally built up my confidence in myself and at this point I can talk to any to anybody I don't care who it is um, unless you're like a psychopath serial killer then step off like the regular show step off an another thing really I know it's a little corny 
but really just find something a passion that you like and just try to build on it i'm i know it sounds corny i know i sound like an influencer find your passion find, find what you love do what you love da, 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 da. But it really does mean something. If you can find something that you like to do and actually pursue it and, and monetize it in some kind of way, or at least at least just get good at something, at the minimum, just get good at something, then I feel like that would boost a man's confidence a lot. There's a lot to it. For example, okay, I thought that I wasn't good at anything when I was 19. Right? That, that was like a really bad year for me. But then I became more and more... Um, indulge in exercise and I used to exercise a lot when I was like 16 to 18 I weight trained in high school and then I stopped okay I stopped weight training after that but then when I got back in the gym I realized how much I loved it and then I just kept doing it kept doing it kept doing it and I became a lot stronger and then eventually today I became certified as a person not today I was certified but now I'm certified as a personal trainer because I, I like exercising I like teaching people about exercise. That's what I plan on doing with this channel. I would like to help people exercise and find the person inside of them that they really are. If you can find something like that that you enjoy, making progress and becoming a better person or be a better man will do wonders for your confidence, more than you ever could imagine. Not how much money you got, because I know guys are like, I need a whole bunch of money to get the girls I want. I need a whole bunch of money to be happy. You really don't. You just have to find some kind of internal happiness. I would say, get out of your comfort zone, uh, find something you like, and just get real good at it. Or at least work towards getting good at it. There ain't nothing on this planet, there is nothing, nothing that feels better than getting good at something that you know how to do and knowing that you're good at it, right? This, there is, there is, when I was working to get my personal training certificate, I worked at a separate job just for a little bit, just to pass the time. But the reason why I was okay with it compared to how I used to be, let's say if I was like 19, not working on anything, I'd be mad going to that job. Grumpy going to walk into that job every day. But now, today, when I was studying for a personal training when I go home, I will go, I would, I'm skipping to that job. No, ain't none can bring me down. I was skipping to that job because I know that I was working on something great for myself. And I would use that to basically propel me to somewhere in the future, right? But back then, I didn't have that. When I was, a, when I was 19, I didn't have that motivation, so I had nothing to look forward to. So of course, of course that's gonna make you depressed. Of course you're gonna be mad that you just, you go to work and come back every single day and nothing changes. Of course you're gonna be mad. I just hope that young men can wake up and realize that you're stronger than you think you are. No one's telling you this. I understand no one's telling you that you're handsome. No one's telling you that you can do it. No one's telling you that you're worth anything because they, it just doesn't happen for us. It just, for the most of us, it does not happen. I didn't get people telling me that I can do this, 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 that, this, this, this. I had to tell my damn self that I can do this. So I understand how hard it can be to be young and lost but I'm just saying, I hope someone can see this and wake up and realize that you're way stronger than you ever thought you were and you can achieve way more than you think you can, okay? Deuces.